I called for this meeting because... There he goes again. A, a man, man cannot, cannot be in his house. house. And whenever, and whenever the rain falls, it falls on him. Why? Because there are holes on his roof. Shall he continue to pretend? Oh no, he shall let me. <laughs> what is funny? Nothing, Baba. Something beats me on my back. Mm. These holes are standing right in front of me. Oh, yes. Now, let me ask you. When you look at yourselves, what do you see? Our father's reflection. May the gods punish you there or saying that Kibibi. May they fire you with their fire. Zakuta. So you are telling me that when you look at yourselves, it is my reflection you are seeing. Me, Bahuba. And you are indirectly saying that me, your father, Bahuba, I am part of the hole on my roof. Is that what you are saying? That was not what I meant, Baba. So what do you mean, Kibibi? Oh, Jesus. What did you say? Nothing, Baba. Kibibi, I have always known that you have a very long tongue. And your tongue is faster than your legs. But I assure you. I will Baba, can you tell us why you called us? Isn't that what I want to say? That this time my TM will not let me talk. Look, all of you are hoes. And you are the reason why the rain that is beating me is beating me. The rain beating me in this community is because of you. The shame and humiliation for having you is because of you, the hoes on my roof. And I must do something about it. I have never been so humiliated all my life like I was today when Baba she came and summoned me. He just called me to embarrass me, make a mockery of me because of you all. And so that is why I said I should call you so that you will not think it's a side talk. Eh, my dear Baoba, as the eldest man in this community, I want to advise you, and I will expect you to take it. Um, Baba Shikawa, I understand what you are saying, but I have no problem with you advising me. But I do not understand why you see the need to advise me. In the presence of Bambiku, when you know that we do not see eye to eye. My friend, would you shut up? Shut your mouth. You should be grateful and happy that you are in the presence of a real man. You think I have time? I am jobless to compare myself with a woman like you, ma? What rubbish. Baba, you have seen it for yourself. You see what I'm saying? It is okay. Life has made it so. Uh, go ahead and say what you want to say. I, I am listening. Tell him. Mm, my dear Baoba, you just said life has made it so. And it's nobody's fault. Mm? Now, I need you to stop impregnating your wife. What? Eh, you heard me well. Isn't it? Eh? Stop impregnating your wife. You see, you have tried. Eh? Rest. It is not every man's destiny to have a male child. Wow. Wait, wait. Are you saying that you called me for this meeting to tell me, Bauba, to stop impregnating my wife? Ah, is it not enough reason? Is it not enough reason? Uh, 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 Bauba, before you start getting angry, let me ask you, how many daughters do you have? Six or oh. six. Six, this woman has six children, six liabilities. Women community. You, you don't have it, you don't have it. Oh, six, six, six. Rubbish. And uh, I suppose the last one is one year. Eh? Isn't it? Eh, and what, what I was saying here? What I was saying? Eh? Stop impregnating your wife. <laughs> 
or is it until you flood our community oh. with God children eh? in the name of looking for a meal before you stop? As I was saying, this shame and humiliation, I have decided that it has to come to an end. So, ends fat. I, Bauba, son of Bia Biatu, I am no longer your father. Ah, what, 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 what are you saying? No, Baba, I don't understand. What are you saying? What I am saying is not clear enough. It is clear enough. I am this father in them. Period. So, henceforth, you have no right whatsoever to answer my name. Whatsoever that consigns you is now your responsibility. Including our school. Especially your school. I will no longer invest my kurumbis on your head, on the head of women, that some other man will come tomorrow and get married to. I will not do it. They will not come and reap where they did not sow. Listen, starting from today, if you see me, do not greet me. If I am coming this way, you go this way. If you are going this way, I'll go this way. And if you push me, if you push me, I will send you all packing. Baba, you're taking this thing Test too me. far. Baba, you're taking this thing too far. No, no, come, let's let's talk about this. You're taking this. What, what do you mean by you can you, you will not? Baba! Mama, go and talk to him. Don't worry, okay? Bauba! Why is Baba doing like this? Can someone tell me that Baba is joking? Does it sound like he's joking? Well, for me, I don't care if it is father's house. That one is his business. Someone hearing you talk now. We we'll not know you're only saying this just because you now have the freedom to walk about. Are you talking to me? Is something wrong with you? See, the both of you stop that. Are you not hearing what she's saying? And so? What she said, was it wrong? Okay, tell me. What else is the reason for saying what you said, if not because you're selfish? Will you always call me in front of Kibi? The next time you think before you talk. <sighs> Meanwhile, what we should be talking about now is how to pay the main balance of your school fees. Since Baba said it's no longer responsible for us. But wait, if it is not ignorance, what other reason will make Baba decide for us to start taking care of ourselves? Just because our community does not recognize the place of a girl child. And only God knows where that idea came from. I don't like this. What are we going to do? What? I am unhappy. What are we going to do about this? I don't know what to do. I'm just unhappy. Look, woman. I do not care what people think out there. My mind is made up. You and your daughters, you have no good to me. And that is why I have made up my mind to move on. It is not a crime. Is it my fault? Is it my fault that we have only girls? Children comes from God. Will you shut up your mouth. Look at you. You're not even ashamed. You are bringing God into this matter. What are you trying to say? That I am not fit to have male sons. Or God is trying to punish me. I did not say Look that. Look at you. Instead of you to bow your head in shame for what you have done, you are blaming God for it. 
I do not blame you. I blame my mama. I blame my mama. Ah, I blame my mama. It's not my fault. My children is children. You should cherish ah. them. Ah! Laigi! Ha! Amakuru? Nimesa. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Yeah. Let me see somebody. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, uh, our wife, uh, how is your day? What is the matter? Huh? Your wife is not returning my greeting. Is he good? Is he right? Is he wise? Huh? Can't you feel it? I can feel it, Gaigi. Look, do not bother yourself. Okay, leave her alone. I just told her now that I am no longer interested in her and her children. That I am no longer their father. That is why she's acting this way. Do not worry yourself. You did? Ah, finally, my friend's eyes has been opened. <laughs> you know, I, I, I had to. You know, I am tired of the shame and the humiliation that we face in this community. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine the other day, uh, Baba Zikawa called me for the meeting? You will not believe what he told me. Imagine that man telling me to stop impregnating my wife. Ah. As if he is the one that got her married for me. Huh. And guess what? He did this in the presence of that idiot, Bambiku. He was there. Who? Bambiku? Bambiku was there. <laughs> that small boy. Eh? I'm just waiting. Eh? The day he will enter my trap. I will just remove his front gate. <laughs> eh? I know you. Eh? I know you, Gahigi. Eh? Ah. I don't know what is puffing him. Do, oh. I, do I know? Eh? If they say a, a man with sons come and he will jump up. Huh? Look, do not blame him. You see, people say, they say that half bread is better than none. His son is half bread. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this one entered. I'm telling you, ah, half bread. He is half bread. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> uh, 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 meanwhile, uh -huh. why I came is uh, because of that bed. He told me to. Lingua for you. Gaigi! Bad My Getting late. You should come inside. You go. I'm having a meeting with my God, and when I'm done, I will come inside. Mama, what do we do now? I say go inside. When I'm done, I will come. Go. Go. I want to be left alone. So you, Nafuna, you have the boldness to report me to Baba Sikawa. Kaigi, yeah. can you imagine this woman? Yeah. Calm down, Baoba. Huh? Uh, meanwhile, what is Gahigi doing here? I thought this is supposed to be a family meeting. Uh, I want him here. Huh? He is more family than some persons here. Uh, mm. All right. So, 
Baoba, just because I gave you a fatherly advice, you now went home to this father all your children. Eh? Yes. Uh, this father. That is what he said. Am he, I right? Yes, Baba. Uh, and, and he also said that he will not take care of their well-being. Hi. Imagine. Eh? Let me tell you, Baba. You have just acted like a child. And I... I hey, 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 Baba Sikawa. Please. I know you are the eldest in our community. And I respect you for it. But please do not call Baba a child. Otherwise, I will take it as an insult. Let me tell you what you do not know. If there's anyone to be blamed in this matter, I will blame my mama. Huh? Me? Yes, you, mama. Why? Because you promised me, you assured me, when you brought this woman to me, the wife, I had to give up my lover, Megwatsu, mm. just so I can marry her. You told me that her lineage only gave birth to sons. And that is why I married her. But tell me, ever since then, all she has done is to baptize me with more girls. Huh? And more girls. Huh? I cannot deny it. But take a good look at her nose, her legs, and even her lips. This was what I saw and went for her. Even when I asked people around, they all pointed at her. Everybody in our community knows that women from our neighboring towns, especially the Inca tribe, give back to more sons than girls. But what I do not understand is why this woman will choose to bring shame to us. Huh? Yes. Bauba, my son. Anything that you decide to do, I stand by it. Mama, why are you talking like this? Am I God that gives children? Will, will you shut up your mouth there? Why are you bringing God into this matter? Is something wrong with you? That is enough. Ah. My dear Nafuna. Yes, Baba. You do not need to blame your husband for acting like this. You know the people's culture. Until a man bears a male child, he is not considered to be a man. Hmm? In this same community, rather, he is seen as a woman. And nothing in the community that is shared that will ever get to him. Yes. Yes. He will not get anything. Eh? And uh, uh, you, you know all these things. Eh? Nothing is hidden from us all. Everybody knows. Uh, so, Nafuna, I am very, very sorry that uh, I cannot do anything about your husband's decision mm? uh, but if it were affecting the community directly uh -uh, <laughs> i would have said i have power over him but uh, this is his family he has the final say huh? oh yes he has huh? oh when do you want him to be a man is he when he is my age is it good is it right? Does it make sense? Can't you feel it? Think about it.
Mama, welcome. Yeah, yeah, Mama, how did the meeting go? Kibibi, please leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Mama, welcome. Thank you, my darling. Where is baby? She's inside. Has she eaten? No. Her osari has finished. I gave her the last one this morning. Ah. I forgot. Go to Mama Media's place. Okay. Tell her to give him baby's food. I'll pay her later in the day. Mama. Hey, hurry. Okay. So, Mama, was Grandma able to convince him? What did she say? What did Baba Sikawa say? What did they ask him to do? Mama, answer. Hey, baby. Before I close my eyes and open it, you disappear. What part of leave me alone, don't you understand? <sighs> Mama, you are getting worked up over nothing. But don't worry, I'll intervene in this matter. I must say this to you. At this age, you have eyes for good things. What age are you referring to? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now be cool when the sun is coming. Please, let's just see nothing. No matter what, I just walk and pass. Mm. Let us go. Good day, ladies. Adomado! Bambigu, who did your son just greeted in that manner? Ladies, I can understand the part of Bauba, but me, how? What are you saying, Gahigi? What do you mean can understand my part? What do you mean by that? Baba, what is, what, what is going on here? I, I, I don't know, ladies. I, I know, my son, I know. They are, I don't know why they are sweating. May the gods fire you there. May the gods fire you that your son just called us ladies and you cannot scold him. You are talking rubbish. Why? Scold him? Why? Why will I scold him? What? Why will I scold him? Are you a man? Sister? Are you a man? Are you? Hi! I, I pity you. Huh? Yeah, at your age, I pity you. Just go, go going around uselessing yourself. Huh? You think we don't know the reason why you are not married up till now? Eh? You are worse than him. You are worse than him. At least he, he has he has girls like him that he's training for other men to come and marry. But you, no wife, no child. Not I, 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 you are in fact, eh, you are not you are not a man. You are a grandmama. Call him grandmama. Grandmama. Huh? <laughs> are you are you are you want me to to scold my son? You think it's easy to have a son? Huh? You think no, my boy. My boy, <laughs> you think it's easy to have a son? Go and have one, let me see. Rubbish. Tell women, bye bye, Joe. Women, bye bye. Sisters. Rubbish. You, you just stand. Why do you see them like that? Call them ladies. They're ladies. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Ah. Hey. Yeah. I, ah, I have never been humiliated. All my life, I said, man, it is me. <laughs> they called grandmother. Baba, me, Kahigi, is it good? Is this right? Uh, is hey, this Gai, right? Gai, 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 please, please, look at you crying like a baby. The other day at my place, you were saying that if he enters your trap, he will blow his front teeth. Yeah, you are crying like a baby. Before now, I was willing to give up my search. But from after what that boy just called me. You see, I will continue my search until I have a male son that will make me proud. And he will see it. He will see it. Look at you. You don't even know when to stop. After six girls, you are saying that you are going to continue. Huh? Instead of channeling your uh, strength into something else. 
Is, uh, is it good? Well, uh, please, I'm going to come. Is it right? Please, we want to talk to you. We just want to say we are sorry for the shame we are causing you. We know we are not boys, but we are strong. And we will do whatever you want us to do. Yes, Baba. We are ready to do whatever you want us to do. But please, do not turn your back on us. Tomorrow is Monday, Baba. And this week is our deadline. We have to pay off our school fees. Otherwise, we won't be able to write our exams. Hmm. Hmm. You really, really have no idea how ashamed I am giving birth to only girls. Because in the end, it is all for nothing. Complete waste. Nothing good comes out of it. If only God had given me just one male son, all these years I've been begging him, I would have been satisfied. Even if he's a disabled, and this is a man, than to give me all of you. Now let me ask you, tell me one thing I have to my name in this community. One thing, other than this house that my Baba left for me. I do not have a land. Because of what use does a man need a land when he has no heir, no son? I cannot even go for men's meeting. All the benefit that comes from the government, none they share to me. I walk on the road and they laugh me, they call me a woman. Because of you. My Baba owns this house because why? He gave birth to me. Let me tell you this. It is our people's belief. That no matter what a man spend on the head of women like you, it's all useless because in the end, another man will come and marry you, and all my money will be wasted. All my kurumbi is gone. Education is not everything. Look at me, your baba. I did not go to school. I thought I better. I thought I better. So if you know that going to school is a problem for you, I will advise you stop. And look for a man that will get married to you. I will gladly give you my blessings. But for me, Bauba, to spend my one kurumbi on your head again, never. It will never happen. You are even lucky, Kayangi, that you are done with your own level. Otherwise, nothing for you. Nothing for you. Thank you, Papa. You are coming here to beg me. Just one male son he will not give to me. Even if he has no eyes, I'll still be happy. This is a male son. What kind of life is this? So this man is serious with his decision. But how does he want us to survive? I just used my last money to buy my baby's food and my petty business is not moving. He is indirectly punishing me for not having a male children. It is not fair. Hmm. I will not let him do this to me. I will not. Kenyangi! Kenyangi! 
Mangi. Where is your mama? I sent her to go and get me my clothes from Mama Jetta's place. Since morning, up till now, I have not seen the clothes. As a matter of fact, she left this house very early in the morning. Where did she go to? I don't know, Grandmama. She did not tell me anything. In fact, I haven't seen her since morning. Where is baby Siwa? She took her. You can go back to your duties. We had to receive punishment for it. And soon now they will start driving us home. Have they transferred that to your master teacher? What is that his name again? Mr. Borobo. That man that is like God in that school. I just pray he doesn't teach us when I get to his class. <laughs> yeah, do. Is it that nobody noticed that mama things are gone? Gone? What do you mean by gone, Kibibi? I went to get my fine art books and I noticed that some of our clothes were gone and baby's things too. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes. What is going on? Is her things really gone? It's nothing serious to worry about. By the way, where is Masiko? What do you think? Freedom at last. Please, take this thing. Take this thing. I brought fire with you. Just drink. Huh? I don't need that. Everything. Mama. It's okay. Mama, everything. Mama, calm down. Mama, she okay. took everything. <laughs> all my own mom. All my money. Everything I worked for has gone. <laughs> my entire life savings is what she has taken. Take it easy. Why would Nafuna do this to me? Take it easy now. Mom, it's not it's not bad. Oh God, Mama. God will punish you. Wherever you are, I said God will punish you. May this cloud fall on you wherever you are for doing this to me. My money is what you have taken. You will not have peace of have mind. Have you seen it? Hey. Have you seen what hmm. your mama did to you know. to my son? Hmm. Your wicked mother. Okay. Hey. See what she has done to my son. My money. She will never know peace wherever she I is. I suffered for it. For doing this. I suffered for it. Stealing my son's money. Hmm. Ma ma mama, is it not bad enough that she gave me only girls? Look, let me tell you people something. I do not care how you do it. I don't even want to know. I am giving you just one week. One week for you to raise my 1,000 kurumbis as your mama has stole from me. Otherwise, you will not stay in this house. You will not stay in this house. Get out! Get, get out! Get out! Get, get, get out! Get out! Mama, it's I feel okay, like it. I'm not going to make it. Come, come. Mama, my money is gone. My money. Mama, my money. Come now. It's okay now. Hey. One thousand kumbis. Can you give? One thousand kumbis. How can Mama do this to us? Can you give? How can Mama do this to us? Can you tell me this is a joke? Tell me it's a joke and you're aware of it. Because I know Mama is always close to you. She tells you everything. Kang, I'm talking to you. I don't know, okay? I don't know! She left us. How can her heart allow her to do such a thing? And she ran off with Baba's money. Why? To punish him, of course. 
What other reason would she have? Punish him? When she has succeeded in making matters worse for us, because now we have 1,000 people to raise. What are you holding here? What's happening? I saw me while looking like rapture to place. I asked her what the matter is. She didn't answer. What's happening? What do you care? Waka waka. Are you talking to me? Mm -mm. Are you okay? Not now, both of you. Not now. Don't let me lose it with you. And as for you, if you don't learn to respect your sin, I will allow her beat you. Ah, madam, your mama has run off with Baba's money. Sharp woman. Eye for an eye. Good for him. Yeah. Good. God. You are so foolish. Can you imagine this girl? The mama ran out with Baba's money. Mean sharpness. Why haven't you run? Or are you not sharp? Girl, well, madam, we only have one week to pay back Baba's money. Otherwise, he throws us out of this house. What? He must be joking. No way. It's not possible. Is that why you pa? Is that why you are keeping me in here? It is not possible. You should better go and look for his wife. I know how you guys will pay the money. Because I'm not doing that. It's not possible. This is not possible at all. I can't leave my house. All of you. Leave. All of you. Go. Leave my house now, all of you. Why are you doing this? This is not fair. It is not fair. Let me ask you. Is it fair what your mama did to me? Is it fair that God gave me all of you idiots as my daughters? Is it fair? Thank God she left you. You're a wicked man. Punishing us as if it's our fault that we're killed. Masiko, will shut up your mouth? Masiko. Ma Masiko. Did you just open your mouth and talk to me? Wait. You just open your mouth. You, op you open your mouth and talk, and talk to me. And talk to me. Ah! You don't have mouth to talk to me. Me, Bauba. I do not blame you. I do not blame you. Instead of giving me six boys, you chose to give me useless daughters. I promise you, the day I see you, I will cut your head. I will cut your head for what you have done to me. It is you that is senseless, not me. I will slap you if you point your finger at me again. I'm not your mate. Oh, please shut up. Now, age help. What's wrong in what I told him? He needs to know the truth. The truth that none of you are bold enough to tell him. If there was any chance of him forgiving us, after what you just did, I doubt if he will. Look, who is this one talking? Look, let me tell all of you. As for me... As for you, what? Go on, let's hear it. I guess it's one of your selfish comments again. Look, we need to calm ourselves and think. Your exams are fast approaching. We don't have the money to pay your fees. Baba also needs his money. The question here is what do we do? What do we do? Wait, are you serious? What are you even saying? 1,000 kurubis is what you want us to raise. Where do you want us to get such amount of money from? And Baba said one week, even if you give us two years, we can't even raise that money. If we walk around the clock, this is pure wickedness. Kiyangi, what Masiko is saying is true. 1,000 kurubis is a whole lot for us to raise. Baba didn't save up that money in one year, I know so. So, how does he expect us to get it? How? But why are none of you thinking of where Mama would be? Where did she run off to? Because if we find her, we find the money. At this point, I do not care where Mama has run off to. She is so shameless to me. A woman that we abandon her children when they needed her the most is not worth going after. Look. We are all we've got, and we need to stay together. But if anyone here feels the need of going to look for Mama, feel free. Well, as for me, no. 1,000 kronbis, a huge amount of money. <laughs> Oh, 
What is it? You came to me and said you needed a job. Now I wash toilets, you are complaining. If you don't wash it, I won't pay you children. No. Hi God, God will punish Mama wherever she is. Ha, has it gotten to that? I thought you said she was a sharp woman. Why are you mocking? One day you will sleep and wake up and discover your tongue is gone. Only God knows why all of you are always targeting me. Because that is your biggest problem. Finally, we agreed on something. Madam, please, we are so sorry. Me and my sisters will go in there and wash the toilets. Pick up the buckets, let's go. If you like, go. And thanks, let's wash the toilets, please. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Are we the one Mingo is calling? Are you people deaf? Are we the one you are talking to, Mingo? You, you, you don't have sense. So the both of you will see me and walk past without greeting. Well, I, I, I just don't blame you. It is because you don't know what it means to be a man. Tell them I don't know. The look the two of you have, eh? Is this what I'm carrying? Or that white I would have given you the beating of your life? Look at this balloon, no? You even have the boldness to stop us on the way to greet you. <laughs> Wait, so like this now, as you are now, you're a man. Eh? Huh? I feel for manhood. What is it that makes you a man? What is that thing that you can do that we cannot do? Is it not me, Ingo, that Baba calls half bread? What? Me, half bread? Yes. He's the one. Or are you not a half bread, or girl? The annoying part self is even this monkey following him around. Who are you calling monkey? Basia, let's go. No need wasting time on them. Augustus, men of our land, we greet you. Let's go. This one I cannot even bait himself. Let's Rubbish. Go I don't blame you. Sex. Wait. Who did they say cannot bait himself? Is you. Hi. It was just a silver shoe slapping. That boy has no respect at all. You see, that's where me and you guys are different. If it was me, he would have lost one of his tooth. I'm hungry. Me too. To work for money is not easy at all. Kayangi, can you buy some bread with the money we have? Kayangi! Huh? huh? Yeah, yes? What did you say? She asked if you can buy some bread with the money we worked. No, we can't. Why? How can we go back home empty and on our first day of work? Exactly. We need to impress Baba. Who knows? Maybe if he sees that we are serious, he can, he can forgive us. Right? right? I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Please look for something for everybody to eat. This is nonsense. Eh? No, you need to do something about this. This is rubbish. No, 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 no. I, I won't take this. I won't take this. But I'll do something about this. What is Mihingo and these boys doing here with his father? What have you guys done to them? What, what, what nonsense? No, 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 no. Cannot happen. No. What, what, what nonsense? Uh, um, which of them did you say did it to you? The both of them. Hi, so the both of you. You had the boldness. Eh? Don't, don't, don't lay your hands on my, on my order. On my son! Eh? My only son! What? What? No, 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 it's rubbish. Wait a minute. Mingo, so you actually had to lie just so your father can fight for you? 
Why are you calling her a liar? Did, did you not slap me? She not slap me. She slapped him two times on his face. Two times? Yes. Then the other one pushed him until he fell backwards. This one? This week? Please, when did this happen? Because I'm lost here. Will you shut up? Did it happen or not? Baba, none of this happened. We didn't even come close to them. Liar! Liar! They slapped me! This is what I've been saying. And this is what I've been saying. So because you, you, are, you are envious of me and my body, me and my Udo, eh? you send this your, this your stupid daughters to, 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 hurt, to hurt my son, my only son. Something that you cannot produce. Eh? This, this is your useless daughters. This liabilities. I don't blame you. I don't believe because I know that you took after this your useless father here. Yeah. All of you are just good for me. Ah, I will advise you choose your next word carefully. You can insult us for all we care about, not our papa. Look, everyone know you have a lousy son for the child. But let me tell you this. We may not be boys, but we are women and we have fire in our bones. And we can burn. So I advise you take your son and these two confused animals out of my baba's compound now. Baba! Hey! No, I will tell everybody what happened here today. Hey! You are talking to a man, a real man. Migo, let us go. I promise you. You will pay for this. You will pay for this. Using liabilities to slap men. Let us go. You will, you will pay for this. I know you must be thinking that after your display just now, you must have won my heart. If that thought ever crossed your mind, Kainge, then you must be very, very foolish. You have only succeeded in making matters worse because if you know Bambiku, he will go extra miles, he will do anything to ensure that this embarrassment that you have given to him today is done to me. Baba, I was only trying to support Shut up your mouth! You were rude. You interrupted with that invitation. And for this you have done, you will be punished for it. Henceforth, you and these sisters of yours, you will not sleep in my house anymore. You will sleep outside until you raise my money. Yes, you heard me very well. You will sleep outside. Baba, why do you... Baba, please reconsider. You can punish me, but leave my sisters out of this. Please, Baba. Shut your mouth. Reconsider what? I say this to you. If you think I'm joking, I swear by the gods, try me. I will break your bones. Baba, please. Always bring your shame to me. Baba, please, Baba. Don't embarrass me. Am I the only one that has that? Baba, please. See that boy. You see me, Yingo. What I will do to that boy? Yes, I will see him on the road. If you talk rubbish, I'm not sure I will pull out on this. Yingo. Children. Tomorrow is going to be a hectic day for us.
As a friend and um, as one who is old enough to be your father, I know that what I want to say now uh, is not my business, but I will give you my advice. Baoba, don't you think that you are being too hard on your children? I know our people do not value a gay child, but that doesn't make them less human. I know that you are, you are angry, but, but it is not the other uh, 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 Please. Indeed, I do not appreciate you interfering in this matter. If their own mama did not consider them before doing what she did. So tell me, why should I consider them? Why should I? Yes, can I help you? Papa. What? Mama was right. She said, I will know you when I see you. If I, will, you walk, will you move backwards? Come on. What is going on here? Come, young girl. Who are you? I'm your daughter. Will you stop this thing you are doing? Uh, uh? Will you brave your age for once? What is wrong with you? I'll be I they paying you. Does she look like me in any way? Huh? Uh. <laughs> How can you be my daughter? <laughs> Baba, Baba, is it fair? Uh, is it good? Uh, is it right? Baba, does it make sense? Baba, think about it. Think about it. Think Look, about it. No. If this is a prank, you better stop it. How can you be my daughter? What, what, is, what, what is going on here? Uh, oh, welcome, my daughter. Well, you stop what you are doing. <laughs> this is not funny. Why are you laughing? <laughs> so, what you are telling me is that your mama did not give you any picture. She only described me to you, and you are sure I'm the one. Yes, Papa. Um... Will you stop calling me Baba? Young girl. So you mean you traveled all the way from your country? You crossed the borders just to come and look for your baba? Hey, why now? What is Mama, going? please, what is the meaning of this? Why are you asking all this question? And who is the baba you are referring to here? Huh? Look, let me tell you. Maybe I know your mama. Maybe I do not. I do not care. Let me advise you. Go back home. Tell your mama you did not see me. Do you understand? If you were a boy, maybe I would have accepted even if I'm not shy if you're my own. But you're not. So please, go. Go, go. Please. My mama is dead. What? 
Chiwasik. Baba, please come. Excuse me. Baba, do you remember that you once told me that you met a woman when you traveled across the border to her country for your business? Do you remember telling me Mama, that? Is that why you just called me? Huh? Did I tell you I have memory loss? Huh? Look, Mama, she cannot stay here. Period. Look, I am very sorry that you lost your mama. I'm also very sorry that you cannot stay here. I mean, why are you doing this to me? No, I'm asking you, why are you doing this to me? Of everything that you should have done in this life, is for you to make another girl to locate me. Why? Well done. I can see you are very, very busy. All your attention is on me. Let me beg you now. I am beg begging you. If you know there's another girl coming to find me, please tell me now. Let me know. You cannot stay here. You have to go. I cannot afford to have another girl. Please. She cannot stay here. Yangi, Miss Yu's pain. My neck, my leg, my hand. In fact, all the whole body is in pain. Me too. I'm also feeling that way. How much did we make today? 60 Kurumbis. 60. Ah. Ah. Good. But how long are we going to continue with this? So, you traveled across the border to this place just in search of your baba. Where are you from? Another country. Another country. Oh. oh, thank God you are here. What is going on here? And who is this? This is another liability like they call us. What are you saying? Is your father's away match from another country. And whenever she talks, we can't even understand what she's saying. Another country. Please, who are you? My sister. Sister? How? She doesn't talk much. Kibibi have asked her all the questions you can think of, and she said nothing. Yes, I think Baba and Grandmama knows she's here. <laughs> I can't believe this. Like, are you not seeing? Baba traveled all the way to another country in search of a new child and came back with this. <laughs> are you not seeing? <laughs> ah. What? What now? Hmm. Hmm. So up till now, you've still not heard anything from your mama. Yes. Wow. I still don't understand how she's able to do this. Why? Hmm. Honestly. My mama is the least of my worries. Uh-uh. What do you mean? I don't understand, like, I mean, I try so hard for my baba to acknowledge me, but he won't. Truly, what can a male child do that I cannot do? That he's so bent on having one and giving us up in the process. You and I know the answer to this, Kiyangi. It's our people's way of life. We were born into this. We are nothing but existing shadows that can be extinguished by the rising of light. No, we are not. We are women and we are strong. We are bold and courageous. We are the foundation of life. We are complex yet simple. We are soft at heart, yet our rod can bring down a nation. They are men because we are women, for without us their masculinity is useless. A fact I hope our people can realize. Please, please, please. 
Baba, food is ready. Should I serve yours? Food is ready? Yes, sir. What is that supposed to mean? And by the way, how did you get the money that you use in preparing the food? Oh, I used from the money we worked from today. So you mean you lied to me? You lied to me when I asked you about the sister Columbus. You said it was all that you have. Why did you lie to me? Baba, I needed to keep some aside so that we don't starve. If we continue starving ourselves, we'll not be able to work and gather your money. I do not care. I do not care if you eat or die. Just get me my money. Baba, what did you just say? I don't have water in my mouth, do I? Baba, I'm doing everything I can to please you. I can remember I was only but five years old when you told me not to call you my father outside because you are ashamed of me. And ever since then, I said to myself, I will make you proud. But it seems that it's so hard for me to please you. Okay, young Oh, you are such a foolish child. So you think that by cooking for me, you make me proud? How? How, Kayangi? I am a nobody because I have all of you in my life. I have nothing in my name. I have been disgraced every day because of each and every one of you. So if you think that by cooking for me, would make me proud. Then think again, girl. Hold your tears. Do not cry for him. Baba, a day will come when you will wish that you can take off this bag. But I just hope it will not be too late. What do you mean by that, Kiyangi? You see what I'm saying? You can now talk back at your own father. You are speaking in parables to me. Huh? Mm. Thank you, my sister. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. Stop crying.
sick. Oh. How is the temperature now? The temperature is very high. It's not reducing. What do we do? Basi, go and call Baba. You sure? Yes. Go and call Baba. Go, go, go. Go. Are you mad? Is something wrong with you? Eh? So you, do you have the boldness to come to my room and disturb my rest? Are you mad? Baba, we are so sorry, but Miwa temperature has been high since we woke up and it's not reducing, Baba. She needs a medical attention. How does she consign me? Huh? Baba, we don't have money for medicine. All the money we worked, we gave it to you yesterday. If she wants to die, let her die. It doesn't consign me. Yes. If your mama had not done what she did to me, stole my money and ran away, this would not happen right now. Look, let me tell you, I have told you before, I have no business with any of you here. So please, stay away from me. Stay away from me. I will not warn you again. Whatever happens is on you people. You are coming to disturb my rest. You are mad in your head. How much you are mad? Asi, please go get me a bucket of water and towel. Blinko, you came? Yeah, I got your message. I never expect you. Thanks for coming. Miwa is very sick and I need money for her medication. Any amount is very okay. I'll be fine with it, please. As you can see, my business is not doing too well, but let me see what I can do. Let me see what okay, I can do any, for her. Any amount is okay, please. Yeah, just manage this. Hi, thank you very much. Let me start going. Let me just hurry up and start going now. Did you just eat my butt? Yes, it's just your butt. I'm a man. Moreover, I can do whatever I want. And besides, I just gave you my money. <laughs> okay. Take your money. Take your money. Ah. So you think you're a man and you can do whatever you want? Well, I'm a woman and I have my dignity. Rubbish. Aha. <laughs> you will see what I will do to you. You will see what I will do to you. <laughs> It's me you slapped. <laughs> Big boy like me. Sorry, Who's that that she's eating? Our foreign sister said that it's coolie coolie. That is nice when taking with Gary. Gumbu, how did you get it? <coughs> I brought some alone on my journey. So how did you go with your friend? Nothing, do not want to talk about it. Why now? What happened? Tell me. That idiot hit me on my bum bum. What? He knows what Kibibi hears about it. And she tells Kayangi, she will beat the hell out of him. Maybe that is what he deserves. What nonsense. Well, I gave him a very sweet hot slap. Did you shouted, oh my god. <laughs> it's yours. Kiss now. Yes, that serves him right. <laughs> Nonsense. We will continue to eat, okay? Eat. You will open your mouth and eat now. It's okay. So you will be fine. Please. Please. Thank you for letting your baba allow me work in his farm. He even paid me more than the work I did. Mom, I had to open up to him. I was even shocked when my baba told me that he knew that your mama abandoned you and your sisters. Really? Yes, you know bad news can fly. Oh. Anyways. You're welcome, babe. I'm supposed to see you. Good day, Mr. Bambiko. Good day, my dear. Baba. 
This girl lacks respect. That's how she's. Sorry, my dear. Who are you talking to? This one that thinks everyone should, should be afraid of her. Is it me you're referring to, Mihigo? Hey! Who are you that my son cannot refer to you? Who are you that this man <laughs> cannot refer to you? Who are you? I dare you to repeat that word you just said now. I, I should repeat that word. You want me to repeat it? See, let me tell you. Eh? Hmm? You and your papa should tread carefully. Tread carefully because the both of you are in my hands. So when the time comes, I will crush you. Migo, let us go. Let us go. What is wrong with you? You are embarrassing me, hiding behind my back like a woman. Eh? Didn't you see her eyes? What, what is in her eyes? Eh? Was somebody that, 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 that you just slap, slap like this? Baba, you slap, slap, slap her. If not, if not for the father, I don't beat women. If not, I would have, I would have dealt with her and her father since. So, so we, 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 women, you are a man, no? It's like I'm overfeeding you, ba? No. Hi. How do you do with this girl? What? I mean, there's so much boldness. Like, he just stood there, he couldn't even say anything. Please, leave me alone. This is it again. Right now, I need to figure out how to get money. My sisters has to go back to school. Niwa is sick. My baba's money is there. Everything is just choking me. Sometimes I just feel like running away, but I'm not a coward. What if there's a way? Ray, how do you mean? Have you heard of Maunga? Bauba! Bauba! Who is home? Good day, Baba. Mom. Good day. Little one. Go and call me your yeah, Baba. Didn't you hear what I said? Oh, were you talking to me? Sorry, I didn't know. So you didn't hear when I said, Little one, go and call me your yeah, Baba. That's the problem, because I was just wondering how Kibibi and Little One are related. Should you shut up? Eh? Eh? Your bitch. Go and call me your baba. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You, go and call me your baba. My baba is not here. I think he went out so early. <laughs> what did he say? What kind of English is that? Eh? Bahauba! Bahauba! Ah, is it right? Is it good? Eh? Baba! Can't you feel it? Eh? Baba, think about it! Think about it! Oh. Baba! Did I say something wrong? So why are you laughing? Hurry, give this to her. Make sure she takes it. I have a place to go with Lima. Mm -hmm. I'm coming. And tell Masiko to use the remaining money to cook something that we can eat. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, let's go. Bye-bye. Good day, Uncle. Lima, my dear. It has been too long. How have you been? I'm fine, Uncle. Uh -huh. This is my friend Kiyangi. Okay, welcome. Thank you, sir. So, what is it, Lima? I got your message. And because it was from you, I had to leave all I was doing to come. Thank you, sir. Um, Uncle, can I talk to you? Excuse me, Kiyangi. Nimjelele lejo 
wasi watu za pambi la bantu za Your friend just explained to me, and this is what I have to say. Go home, Kenyangi. Go home. Makunga is not a place for a child. How much more for a girl? Uncle, please, she needs this. Please. My dear Lima, if you truly want to help her, then find another way. Find another way. I've tried. I don't want to do What do we do now? What do we do now? But on his second thought, I think he's right. Makunga is not the solution. Yes, there are lots of money in this, but people die in the process. I don't care! You hear me? I do not care! Now you're not thinking straight. Mm -hmm. It's my fault, but then let's go. Let's go, please. Mm -hmm. Kayangi! Yeah. Leave me, let's go. Let's go. What troubles you, Kayangi? <laughs> Nothing. I'm, I'm fine. Why aren't you sleeping? I can't sleep. A lot going through my mind. What is it? Will our dream ever come true? Will what we talk about ever come true? My dear sister. Like they say, sir, may only endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. We should take our life one day at a time. And I promise you, when I say everything, I mean everything, we fall into place. At least, thank God, Miwa is better this evening. Huh? to have you here you know i did i did not believe my ears where my man said that you were coming to see us today hey. ah, welcome have, thank you i have been around i've been around for a few days now ah. was just fixing one or two things hmm. but i decided i must see you people today today hmm. because i will be going back soon oh good banger <laughs> <laughs> welcome welcome you have done good uh Mama will soon join us. Thank you. Thank mm? you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Ah, okay. welcome. <laughs> uh, I have not seen your daughter and your wife around. I hope they're fine. Uh, my wife. Long story. For my daughters. I, I believe you are doing well. Hmm. Oh. Your wife. Long story. But your daughters are fine. You can never change. <laughs> you can never change. Anyway, I hope your daughters are doing well in school because education is very important. Ah, Uncle Dibanga. Education, you say? Yes, very <laughs> important. Someone that hear you talk would think you are also educated. They would not know that you are an illiterate like me. <laughs> education. <laughs> What's the meaning of that? And what gave you the impression that I did not go to school? Where do you think I have been all this while? See, let me tell you, my dear. Before I got married to my wife, I have gotten my first degree. That's why I'm very grateful to your mama, because she is the one that saw me through school. Since after our baba died, your mama has been so nice to me. Even up to recently, 
that I applied for my PhD program at Window. Your mama has sent me 1,000 kurumbis as part of my PhD program fee. That woman has been so nice to me. So nice. Uh, 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 Uncle Dibanga, are you sure that we are talking about the same woman here? Because, wait, did you say my mama saw you through school? Yes. And did you say that she sent you 1,000 kurumbis recently? Yes, she did. She has been so nice to me. She's a nice woman. Your mama, my sister. She's my the reason. Hey, my beloved sister. Ah, mm. you're welcome. You look nice. Thank you. Look See how you're refreshed. You're looking good too. You came to see us. Yes, I said you're I welcome. must see you today. Hey, mama, mama, wait. Anything the matter? Is it true that you saw your brother here through school? When you told me that education is a waste of a man's time, and you made me believe I was doing better as an illiterate. Mama, is it also true that you recently sent your brother 1,000 kurumbis? Ha! I want to believe that that 1,000 kurumbis is the same money I thought my wife had stolen from me. Ha! The same money that I have made my daughters work for every day and night without food, sleeping outside just to raise the money back, just to punish them for what their mama did to me. Mama, why did you do this to me? Mama, why did you do this to me? I punished my children because of it and you knew and said nothing. You gave the money to your brother. Why? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. My people, it is now time for the main event of the day. Yes, yes, yes. Akuma! Come here. My people, you cannot bet. <laughs> Do not stand there and say nothing, Mama. Answer me. Why have you done this to me, Mama? I am not your mother. What? What? What are you saying? What lies is this? That is the truth. Huh? I am not lying. I am not your mother. You knew about this also. And yet you said nothing. What is going on here? What are you talking about, Mama? When I married your father and got pregnant, the child died at birth. Five pregnancies. And they all died at birth. And they were all girls. I almost killed myself. I was so frustrated because I didn't know what was happening. Then one day, the midwife asked to see me. And she opened up to me. Of my children and my 
girl children did not just die at childbirth. That your papa always pay her to kill them if they turn out to be girls. I was that your father killed all my five girl children. <laughs> Day. Your father traveled. I came back with a boy, which was you, without any form of remorse. He handed you over to me. <laughs> My people, we are here. Let the next fighter emerge. your Baba will feel my pain. He was always traveling and he wanted me to put you in school, which I lied that I did. Your Baba wanted you to be a medical doctor. He was so proud of himself and he saved up so much money. Unfortunately, he died during one of his journeys. And it pained me so much that he did not live to witness how his beloved son turned out to be. Ha! Ah, uh, so it was the money meant for my education that you used to send your own brother to school. It makes a lot of sense now. It makes a lot of sense. Ah, Mama. No wonder you made me turn my back on my girls. Even though I know I was ashamed, but I love my daughters. It was the same you that convinced me to withdraw them from school. I obeyed because I loved you. And you are my Mama. I thought you had me, my best interest at heart. But no. You only succeeded in destroying my family, turning me against my daughters. And then you stole my life savings to train this man in school. Ah! Uh, 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 believe me, believe me, Baba. Honestly, I did not know anything about all this. I only know my sister is not your real mother. But, but what? what? I'm asking you the banker that she gave you money. Did you for once bother to ask your sister where she got the money that she gave to you? Of course you would not because why? You are the same bed, the same bed and the same feather. So do not stand here and defend yourself. Papa, you need to come with me now. Who are you? My youngest friend. Papa, you need to come with me now. Your youngest friend, what has happened? Oh, he's been on the way. He needs to come with me now, otherwise Kiyangi will die. Kiyangi? Kiyangi will die? Agora! 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 Agora!
Hakuna, 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 hakuna. I'm sorry. We all know the rules. All she needs to do is to surrender and it will be over. Then let me talk to her. No. She will. Oh, you said, you said girls can't compete. Why this uncle, please? It appears. It appears somebody wants her head. I'm sorry. I'm a businessman. Akuna <laughs> Please, I please, my child, please stop this match. I'm sorry. I need money. No, 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 no. No, we do not need. We do not need the money. Please, I beg of you. Please, hang it. No, don't, don't do this, please. Please, I beg you. I beg you. Can hang it. Can hang it. Can hang it. No, do not do this, please. Can hang it. Can hang it. Oh, <laughs> 
you today. You are worth more than a thousand boys and men to me. I am so sorry, my child. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to leave, but Grandma... It doesn't matter. What matters more is that you are here. Uh, uh. Ladies, come on. Welcome your mama. Welcome your mama. Kibibi. Mama is back. Look, I know you are very angry. But what happened, happened for a reason. And it has made her stronger. Together, as one. Your mama is not the only one that has been misled. My grandmama, I was also misled. And my own foolishness. But you know what? It has opened my eyes to know and to see that I have been blessed with soldiers. Baba! 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 They have the heart of a lion. They are strong and they are bold. They are courageous. They will shape the future of tomorrow. Ah, I, Bahuba, son of Biabatu, I am proud to be your father. So when I say hug your mama, you hug your mama. <laughs> mama, we miss you. Miss you all. Come. <laughs> My darling. Come. Come. Baby, I miss you. You are welcome. You are welcome. <sighs> I miss you all. Okay, let me hug my wife. Let me hug my wife. Come here, come here, come here. Ooh, I miss you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at you. Where's my baby? Give me my baby. Oh my baby. Give me my baby. I miss you. Come. Hold on. <laughs> 